James G here back with a couple tips and tricks. What I'm shaking is a paint marker. This happens to be black. Everybody knows and you scrape the coating off the ferro rod sometimes if you leave it out it will get pitted and corroded and whatnot. And even though mine's inside, it's starting to get corroded a little bit. So a lot of you just spray it with uh, spray paint. But the paint marker does a great job. Just gonna shake this one around. It's been a while. So let me shake it up for about a minute or so, and I'll get back to you. <laughs> <laughs> also have a white one for putting like if you got any guns without and you really can't see the front sight put a little white mark in there help you see a little bit better or for marking bolts or something when you gotta put stuff back the right way and stuff you know automotive. They're great. Great to have around. I'm just going to go ahead and paint it. Anything else? And scrapes off easy enough because this is like second or third time I've done this to this ferro rod, and uh, you know, now I don't use it because I got the Nathan four zero seven one ferro rod. You could also put second, third coat on, but you gotta let it dry between coats. So let me get this done and I'll get back to you. It's looking pretty good already. I'm almost done with the first coat. The video is only a few minutes long, so i will say a couple things. Uh, I post, I don't post every day, right? Or I don't upload every day. But I like to put videos out for different people, you know. I like to put a cooking video out for my friends that like cooking videos and uh, bushcraft, you know, and eat stuff like that. And, uh, and that's basically what my channel is, you know, bushcraft survival, uh, some gear reviews. It's nice I got the fan going behind me. It's blowing all the fumes. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not going to use this one for a while, but I'll keep it for backup. So. I'm going to do a few cooking videos. Um, wanted to give a uh, another shout out um, the channel is called Outdoor University now it doesn't speak English 
but he'll put the captions at the bottom of the screen for you. And he does respond to you in English, so I don't know if he can speak English. Um, I meant to ask him. I think he's from Greece. And I think the language he speaks is Portuguese. Now, don't quote me on that. But, so, wanted to give a shout out to Outdoor e Outdoors University. Outdoor University. I'll put, I'll flash it on the screen. Um, real good channel. Check him out. Really good channel. I've learned a bunch of cool stuff from him. And, you know, that's basically what it's about, you know. I uh, switch the uh, put the Mora uh, ferro rod on that. I like that one better. It's grippy. It's a little bit longer. I put that one on the. It's kind of blocky. I could, you know, shave it down, but just more cleaner. They did a real good job with the knife, but not so much with the ferro rod. So, but, yeah, I'm going to keep it on there. And this is that, you know, I recommend getting that, uh, that fire, uh, paracord, fire tinder. It's got that red tinder in there with wax on it. And that one with the fishing line, I think that's a survivor paracord, that would be a good one too. I think the name. This doesn't have the, the fishing line in it, but it's got the, the wick, so I think it's called Fire Paracord, not Survivor. Survival. Maybe, yeah, it is Survival Paracord. It's real good stuff. One last thing I'm going to do. Before I get off here, I got some number 36 bank line. Okay. Great stuff to have. Great for building shelters. Whatever. It's good stuff to have, alright? Excuse me for a second. I'm gonna cut a piece off. That might not be big enough. Yeah, it's not big enough. So I'll save that. I'm not gonna get rid of that piece. We are going to build, we're going to make a little slip knot for our lighter here. We're going to cross the strings like that. You're going to put your fingers in here. fingers in here. Reach down. Pull up like a marline spike hitch, but we're going to pull it up so we're creating a little slip knot. Alright. Oh, that pulls it out. This tightens it up. Alright. So we can't run our lighter out when it's in our pack. Second thing we can do is we can put a jam knot here so it will not loosen up on itself, but it will loosen up when we want it to. Tighten it up, and that jam knot actually tighten up against there. But if we want to loosen it up, we just pull that pops right off. Okay. Yeah. A little slip knot. 
and you can cut this wherever you want. One other thing I like to do with this part, see. I like to make. I'm gonna go about right. Okay. I like to create. A little spot where I can hook the lighter. Um, I can hang it on things. Okay. So we're going to take any kind of tape you want to use. I'm going to use my T-Rex tape. Look in there. That's T-Rex. Now this is just like Gorilla tape, but I think it's stronger. Start it off like that. Got the tape going. Okay. Let out a little bit. Put this wherever you want it. where you want it and you can put a little bit on the bottom because you can use this t-rex tape for tinder or for fire starting or if you want to take this off of here and use it for patching up something if you happen to forget your tape that day you have a little bit on your lighter always Okay. So boom. Now you can hang it from somewhere. And like I said, trim this down. Just trim it down a little bit. Yeah. That's it. You guys enjoyed that. Appreciate you watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.